Hello everyone, this is David Biedel 23 and welcome to the Mandragon's Cave. Today we are gonna be drawing Jong Kaido from his flashback uh, when he meets uh, Albert, and Albert is king. Uh, why I wanna talk about this today? I wanna talk about this today because, uh, as you have seen, uh, episode 1109, it is very hot at the moment, we are in a break and uh, we are gonna be without having One Piece for a couple of weeks. Uh, that is very dangerous because we don't know what Oda is gonna be uh, planning. So, I quick, just quick, quick, because I don't think I have much to say about the episode this week, to be honest. Everyone is crazy about the, the latest episode, but uh, for me, in my opinion, most of the episode was basically uh, Shaka and uh, and um, Vegapunk uh, kind of filling the episode for us to understand that there's, there's uh, a timer that we need to wait. We In every saga we have a timer. And uh, if you see the Rosa we have the cage, in Crocodile we have the bomb. Every single time in every episode we have a... Uh, we have a timer and this means that Ed Head is coming to a close soon and this is the final kind of battle and whatever is going to happen is going to happen now. So I want to say the important points for this episode is basically the request of having a visual Denden Mushi, a visual snail is because he needs to show something to the world. It's not only explained with words and those that they don't have uh, uh, visual, like in uh, Luffy's town, they may misinterpret what is going to happen or what is going to be said. They need to see something. As well, I think uh, uh, he may have a retransmission, he may show a retransmission of the current Ed Head. And all of these things are because basically uh, he may show or reveal the appearance of the Gorusei. It is very crazy, very cool. I was expecting, I was wanting this, the, the, the last summoning of the of the last panel for all the Gorusei kind of are gonna appear and I think obviously transformed because the circles are very big. And it is very cool. So apart from these couple of points, I don't wanna talk a full video about, about this because it is waiting for one side and expectation for the Gorusei for another side and we can't actually say much more that we're gonna say. I haven't I, I wasn't expecting this to happen, like to have such a such a crazy episode and this is one piece and, and I love it. So another uh, another important thing here, what I see that is most important for me for, for regarding the episode is uh, the cover story. The cover story for this episode uh, portrays Onigashima at the bottom of the sea next to Old Wano. Next to Old Wano that we know that the ancient weapon Pluton is sleeping there, confirmed by Sukiyaki Oden's father. So, <laughs> what is why is this important? I love the mini stories in One Piece because they gave us the sense of having a yeah as I, as, as I said a mini story within the story, and it gave us lore and concept like we had Boggy coming back to the story because of this etc etc. So at the moment we don't know what happened with uh, what happened with Kaido and with Big Mom. Okay. So in one of my uh, one of my videos, I talk about uh, the possible mini story being related to Drake and how Drake may escape, may, how Drake may escape from uh, how may Drake may escape from Onigashima and we have this kind of uh, uh, rescue, like rescuing law from the clash with Blackbeard and, and, and sailing because we don't we don't wanna have uh, Drake dead there, okay? So 
I, in one of my videos, I will put the Drake video uh, up here in the corner, so you can go and have a look to that, and I, and I, and I explain things regarding Drake and sort and low, etc, etc, and the connections. But I, I had this option, or, or we are going to see Drake-related mini-story, Yamato-related mini-story, or Kaido-related mini-story. So, as soon as I saw the, the first page, I thought this is Kaido, and that's what I wanted to draw him today. Uh, as you see, I'm not going for obvious Kaido, traditional Kaido, as, as everyone knows from the episodes. I'm going for young Kaido from the flashback, and why, you will ask, why I'm going to be doing this today. I want to do this today because I think this uh, flashback is very important for the developing of the story. I think Kaido... You know, people joke a lot about the D concept, and... Uh, this is just a, a, a comment, a random comment, but what if Kaido was a D? He's smiling so much when he's young, when he meets King when he was a kid. He's smiling so much with rocks and with everyone, but now we meet a sour Kaido. A Kaido frustrated, a Kaido with uh, uh, losing all the hopes. Like most of the of the older generation characters that we meet, here we see a Kaido that is smiling like Roger, like Roger that it's a D. Uh, you can joke about Kai D O being Kai. The the Japanese meaning of the word Kai is related to ocean, uh, open, restoration, recovery. Uh, there's some comments as well that Kai as well may so relate, be related to dragon in some concept. Okay, so if we take that as a, just as a clue, maybe Kai as a restoration, recovery, dragon concept, D and the O at the end has the concept of uh, chase, to run after, to pursue and to follow so we could, we could very well say if if if, if other reveals at the end of or, or going forward in the story that Kaido is a D and his name is not Kaido, it has been modified like Gold D Roger Gold Roger and his name is Kai D O. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me because the smile, this this smile that he sees as well in Odin when Odin when he well he boils Odin and everything. And I think it's very important, uh, the concept of this, uh, the concept of the smile. Uh, we see a young Kaido going back to himself when he's fighting Luffy. So the current Kaido starts fighting Luffy and he's very sour, he's very drunk all the time. While he's fighting, he sobers up. Uh, that's good for the fight, that's good for, for everyone. And then we have this... Uh, we have this moment uh, when Kaido is fighting Luffy in the rooftop and Luffy transforms, etc, etc. Uh, that, that is when he starts to smile. So he is enjoying the fight and uh, the whole story that happens with the CP0 and, uh, and uh, the CP0 is stopping, uh, stopping Luffy and making him receive the, the heat from Kaido and everything. Uh, Kaido takes that moment very very bad because he's enjoying the fight he has not met anyone like that since as he says sanks uh, roger Rayleigh, so big mom those top characters odin those top characters that for him are the pinnacle of the piracy or the pinnacle of power okay so it is very important it is very important because if you think about it I see a Kaido return and always when we have a mini story is because the character returns. If this is true, that this is going to be related to Kaido, that it may be, as I said before, Drake or it may be, as I said before, Momo and, and um, Yamato as well. It could be Momo and Yamato as well. But I think maybe it gives you a little bit of everything. It gives you a little bit of Kaido, a little bit of Momo, a little bit of Yamato, a little bit of of, uh, of Drake, and we see uh, 
you know, a little bit of everything. But I think it's going to be basically focused in Kaido because I see I see a transformation, a transformation in this character and I see the moment where I see the moment where where Kaido shows up again and stops someone very strong. I don't know who at the moment. I need to still think about it to see who is going to be this someone. But I see a moment in maybe End of Elbaf or Heading to Marineford, one of these final sagas that we are actually diving into, that I think Kaido needs to show up in his hybrid form smiling like Roger, smiling like he, when he was young, and I think he needs to start fighting whoever is gonna stop or try to stop Luffy and, and you know, uh, be in the way of, of Joy Boy. He is very happy, there's a lot of scenes of him smiling a lot, while King, that is a Lunarian and knows all the ancient stories, King is suggesting, he is believing that Kaido is uh, uh, Joy Boy. And then he's so happy. He's so happy, laughing in the sofa, drinking. And he's like, ha ha ha, do you think actually, do you actually think that I am Joy Boy? I, he, he doesn't believe in that. But at the same time, he does believe in that. He is kind of a Joy Boy frustrated. That's why, while fighting with Luffy, he says, the only one who is going to defeat me is Joy Boy. And in, in this case, uh, Luffy is the one who defeated him, Luffy is Joy Boy, Luffy is Nika, Luffy is all these things, okay? So I think it's very important the connection, the connection that Oda makes with uh, young Kaido and current Kaido. How you see the body transformation, that how he's stylized here, stylized character, is a, is a very big, tall guy, a strong, smiley guy. He's kind of designed like a... Like a like Frankie at the beginning, it has a very similitude, very resemblance to King design. King is a character with faith in Kaido, and Kaido is a character at the moment, at the moment, well, before Wano, a character who lost his faith and he wants to kill himself. That's his introduction as a character. His introduction as a character is, I'm jumping from a sky island because, yeah, I'm trying to disappear from 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 uh, from everywhere uh, it is very important the concept of Kaido introduction Kaido jumping from the sky island and Kaido wanting to be eliminated uh, is a character who can't die uh, because he's so strong because the power that he has because the fruit that he has and everything and at the same time it is a character uh, that I don't want to say that he needs a redemption but he uh, we need to like him like Crocodile and uh, like Crocodile and Boggy. Uh, is a character at that level. Let's do the hand here a little bit. And then the shackles, they are hanging. Like this. Yeah. Something like this will do, yeah. So. I think that is why the, the the important point for me of episode nine uh, one thousand one hundred and nine is the uh, the this is 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 the is the cover the cover story because I see a, a potential further developing for Kaido and and I see some ideas that Oda may want to to show us through this. Okay, I'm gonna do some. The tattoo, very quick here, the face, as you will see as well, I want to do the, the young Kaido, I'm going to make him smiling, for me, it's a smiling and, and uh, that's, that, that, that's how it's Kaido, uh, let's do as well the six pack, that it's more than six pack, it's like, it's like ten pack, or I don't know, it's super strong. Okay, I think something like this will do for the uh, for the sketch for uh, for now, and I'm gonna move into adding some line work now. Just gonna move a little bit this to make sure we are 
we are showing the full image so you can see the full image I think something like this will do yeah something like this will do so I'm gonna be using as well the 0 0.2 really fine uh, liner really delicate and uh, or maybe I'm gonna go smaller. Just let me maybe go a little bit smaller this time because the face is gonna be very small. And maybe I use. Um, I think I have here a 0 0.01. Uh, 0 0.1, yes, I have here 0 0.1. You see the 0 0.1 for the face and everything. So let's add some details first of all to the face. I'm gonna do a smile, big smile, like this, like when I did with a little bit of beard. He has he and at this point he doesn't have the mustache yet. He has the nose similar to Nico Robin, like this. And then this kind of bulky eyebrow with no hair and the veins and everything there on the head very nice if you see check references from John Kaido check your references from John Kaido and you will see how cool the design is and as I said how similar it is to how similar he is to King and how similar he is to who is who Characters that hold many secrets. Characters that talk. One is the one talking us about Nika. This is who is who is telling is telling us things about Nika. Is asking uh, things about uh, the slaves and while he's fighting with uh, while he's fighting with uh, Jinbei, and Jinbei gets very upset because of this. And then we have King, that King is Lunarian and he has many secrets of the world and the secrets about the Lunarian, etc, etc, etc. So I don't want to make him upset, I want to make him like kind of happy, happy Kaido, let's say, happy Kaido. Yeah, something like this, something like this for me will do. And as you see today, I want to do it uh, as well, loose, loose character, like this. Like when Oda does these kind of designs, that they are kind of uncertain. Yeah, something like this, easy, easy today. The horns, at this point as when he shows the horns are smaller, everything is smaller, everything is more kind of measured and I think as he grows and he loses hope he becomes more Oni. He's supposed to be the Oni race and he's supposed to be uh, like a giant, like a, like a, you know, like Eugene, like he has his own particularities of the race and uh, as, soon as, uh, as soon as he loses hope and loses the, the, the grip of what's going on and, 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 the, and the hopes and the, the dreams that he has. The One Piece is all about dreams. As soon as he loses the dream of becoming King of the Pirates and being Joe Boy and following everyone, and, and, and you know, he kind of stays as a gatekeeper in Wano for all of those who want to know more about, about all of this, but want to investigate more about the truth of the world. He's gonna be them. He's gonna be there to to stop them, basically, and that's why he gets so excited with with uh, with Luffy and everything. Uh, let's do just this kind of scales, dragon scales, because at this point he already has the fruit. This is this is after uh, God Bali, etc., etc., etc. So yeah, something like this for a face head design. Will do good, uh, and then uh, he has here kind of a belt as well. Let's do, yeah, something like this. Something like this is good. So, here we're doing a young Kaido. 
Happy Kaido. He looks like this, like like he's in a band or something, like in a rock and roll band or, or, or something like that. And I'm gonna do the shackles. Let's see in one moment. Something like this, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So showing all the showing on Igashima at the moment, I think this is gonna be about Kaido. Uh, I I'm I'm almost certain that maybe shows a little bit of Momo. It it actually is not showing you how Momo is moving on Igashima because on Igashima fell on land and now it's underwater. So if uh, Momo moved it and Oda is not showing you that is because we don't need to know at the moment. A very important thing that I wanna show here and I wanna remark here is that uh, what if Kaido Kaido fell or was punched into the volcano with Big Mom and in one of my videos, the Big Mom video I think it is check it out here, I'm gonna put it up here as well, the Big Mom video I say that some connections with Skype and Pagaya comments say that the, the sky islands are created because this pyroflex material thing that it's uh, it comes from volcanoes one two three four and this one five so that i thought i think this happened actually i think uh, i talk about the big mom being in wano because when they fall into the volcano into the volcano, uh, I think the volcano the volcano ex ex explodes at the time, and I think it throws probably Big Mom to Elbaf or Big Mom to a sky island near Elbaf, and then we're gonna have her in Elbaf, and you can see that in my video and all my explanation. And then Kaido could be there, but what if Kaido is still in Onigashima? It is underground. It is still in the lava, in the mud, in everything. What if Kaido? What if Ka Kaido, he actually doesn't have, he actually doesn't have a, uh, I made this a little bit too thick, but it's okay, I'm gonna make it actually a little bit more thicker and that's it. What if actually Kaido is not dead, is not anything, I don't think Oda killed Kaido in that moment, I don't think Luffy is gonna kill someone in a fight, to be honest. What if Kaido is just at the bottom of Wano? And you say, oh, but he must be dead because already a couple of days passed or one day passed or even if it 20 minutes passed, he would have died because he can't breathe. I remember he doesn't have the dragon fruit, as I said, he has the fish fish fruit model dragon, the, the, the Ryu fruit, okay? Uh, can he breathe underwater because he has the fish fish fruit? It could be, it could be, it wouldn't surprise me. Don't we have a foreshadowing in Zou when Jack is, is, is approaching Zou and Zou kicks the, the full fleet and sunk three ships and then we see oh Jack is dead no Jack is not dead Jack is revealed to be a guillotine and then he is still because he has a fruit he can move on the water and then he needs to be fished out what if this is the same what is what if Jack was a foreshadowing because the shape of Jack is very very similar to Kaido Oda loves to do these things of, far, of foreshadowing. What if actually this is a little bit of foreshadowing and we are gonna find uh, Kaido at the bottom of the sea, at the bottom of Onigashima, at the bottom of everything, uh, next to the volcano or close to the volcano, around Wano, uh, in, even on side, looking at Pluton, whatever, I, I don't think he's gonna get Pluton, I don't think he's a character who needs Pluton, I think Crocodile needs Pluton, uh, but this Pluton under Wano, I don't think he's the one that is related to Crocodile, uh, as you can see my Pluton video here, I'm gonna put it as well, 
I think the pluton here is a pluton uh, alive, like, like there's sea monsters, these are going to be land monsters like Sunisha, controlled by Momo, and uh, these alive monsters may be looking at him, maybe they're looking at him like, oh, what is that? And having a conversation between them, like we have the sea kings having a conversation about the kings. Oh, a king will be born. Oh, a king is going to be like this. It's not the time. It's yet the time. Uh, I see something mystical, something mystical like that, uh, connected to a scene like this. So it wouldn't surprise me if we have these uh, sea monsters that in this case will be connected to Pluton, land monsters revealed in this, uh, in this uh, cover story and related to Kaido in the story because uh, if you remember at the beginning, in One Piece at the beginning, we had, we had this... Uh, okay, this shape is like this, is good, okay. Like this. At the beginning, we had these uh, these moments for the cover stories that weren't important, weren't important at all. Uh, but then Oda started to implement it more in the story, and we we've seen more and more uh, uh, the whole concept of what the, the the cover story about. The cover the cover story is telling you later you are gonna see Boogie, and Boogie has been doing this this and that, and please pay attention to him. These are the little feet that he has. This one I'm doing little feet. I always do little feet, as, as you you always know. But especially more with Kaido, because he is really stylized in this in this concept. Okay, just missing this part here. So feel free to tell me in the comments what do you think about this concept? What do you think about a uh, possibility of 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 Kaido coming out again? This hand it came out a little bit weird because I wanted to do too many lines, but it's okay. Something like this, like this, and now. Do maybe one more to finish like this. Yeah. Yeah. So as I was saying, feel free to tell me in the comment what do you think. Uh, what do you think the cover story is gonna be about? Uh, if you think that Kaido is gonna be showing up again or no, or yeah, if it maybe it's Drake, it's it's um, it's uh, Momo, and and who do you think is gonna be in uh, in this cover story? Uh, let's add a little bit more of dark here and I'm gonna get a little bit thicker pen to do in this case I think I will go for 0 0.2 okay so I can start filling I don't think to be honest I don't think this has been shown in the anime yet I'm not sure I'm following the anime I watched the full anime I'm missing a couple of episodes in naked and that but I'm not sure if this has been shown already uh, yeah but I want to do it anyway I don't I'm not sure if the top is red or the top is black like King's design or like like uh, who is who design but I, I want to go for black I want to go like this for black So as I was saying, I see a uh, Kaido return uh, against someone, uh, and I see a, a moment when Luffy. I'm not saying that Luffy is gonna be in danger because I think that Luffy now is too strong to be in danger. In danger, but I see a moment of 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 the typical scene that we see like uh, Zoro and Luffy are fighting against each other in in uh, in in uh, Whiskey Peak. And then Mr. Five and Miss Valentine arrive and they punch. They punch them out of the scene. Something like this. I would see Kaido doing something like this. Maybe a CP0, maybe a Doflamingo character, maybe a Crocodile character, maybe even Big Mom. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, something, someone like, like Whitebeard, someone strong. 
I see this character trying to attack Luffy and then hybrid Kaido showing coming up from I don't know from 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 somewhere coming up from somewhere by surprise and doing thunder bagua in the face of that other character like uh, like whoa, 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 whoa. this is uh, joy boy don't touch joy boy and then he even calls luffy joy boy and say joy boy go forward i'm gonna be gatekeeping this and he keeps someone at bay it could be it could even be one of the one of the blackbeard pirates i don't know but i see something like this happening and he starts fighting 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 a lot and enjoying that uh, i think as well he's loyal to his crew and he may do something uh, to go and, and, and rescue King and Queen. Even, uh, I don't think we see Jack. I don't think Jack is there. That's as well an important thing to, to remember. To say, mm, Jack is not there. And at the same time, we see the other guys. It's kind of, Oda is trying to make me remember about Jack and what happens with Jack when he goes under water, blah blah blah. To think about Kaido, it could be. For this video, for this video, because I, I wanted to do a, a, a drawing of of Kaido from now, like like big. I like to draw bulky characters like Kaido, like that. But for today. I don't think I could do that if I want to talk about the concept of freedom and the concept of Joy Boy and the concept of, 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 of young Kaido as a, someone full of hope, you know what I mean? Just doing these details as well. Uh, Oda likes to leave these lines like here, meaning shine, that I'm going to do the same with the trouser. I'm going to just kind of mark this space in the middle but for me is gonna be a line that this is meant to be leather in traditional drawing uh, language we will say this is meant to be leather okay we don't know what happened to the Tobiropo. Uh, we don't see them captured and anything. I don't think they are dead. Oda doesn't kill people all the time, all the time. Uh, he only kills important uh, for important circumstances. And at the same time, uh, we may see a Kaido being saved by someone because if he's in the water or if he's in the lava, maybe he shouldn't be able to move. Uh, a lot of people talked when Big Mom fell as well that maybe Big Mom used his power, her power to kind of put a soul in the lava and have one of those CS locks that he used to that she used to move and sail on the on the sea with the lava. It could be because they are so strong that they are full of possibilities. And at this point with the story, given the Nika behavior and the power of Nika behavior. Anything can be possible with these so strong characters, so strong hacky characters. But for me, at the moment, it's giving me vibes of uh, Kaido conscious at the bottom of the sea. That because the, the volcano exploded, the volcano throw Big Mom to a sky island near Elbaf and throw Kaido. Uh, in the water. He is, he is next to Onigashima, probably. Uh, he can't move because he is a, a Kumanumi user. And at the same time, he is alive. He is the only one who could be alive because it's a fish fish fruit. It's the only fish fish fruit so far that we know or that Oda confirmed. We're going to do the same here. We're going to create a line like this in the middle of the leg. Something like this will do the job. <clears throat> if uh, if Oda didn't want to do something like this with Kaido, like he's gonna be breathing underwater but not being able to move like Jack, 
and he wouldn't have said, oh, this is the fish, fish fruit. He would have said directly, this is the dragon, dragon fruit, or this is a mythological dragon fruit, etc., blah, 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 and that's it. So if, if he went for the whole big mom thing, oh, I gave you the fruit, the fish, fish fruit, uh, is because this is important for the story and it's important for the Kaido survival in this moment. And uh, I think as well, this is the concept of why he's so immortal as well, because uh, you threw Luffy in the water and Luffy dies, or anyone who's a fruit in the water and they should die. But you throw Kaido and he can breathe in the water. It's like, oh my god, not even doing this, I can kill myself and, and all these things. And it makes sense for a character like Kaido to be uh, like that. So I think we have, kind of have the, uh, the design. Let's add some colors. As, as you have seen, I filled a lot the space with, uh, with blacks, with the, pen, with the pen. And now I'm gonna add some, uh, some brown to do the skin, just Grabbing a bunch of colors I have here, we'll do we'll do the tones like this. A little bit of blue as well. So I wanna you know I don't I don't like to paint full full the whole thing. I like to leave some spaces like this, like irregular. It looks like a, a little bit like a Kaido taken out from a, one of these series like Adventure Time or, or something like this or Simpson or something like this because I made him smiley and with the guy with the eyes big and everything like Luffy kind of joy boy thingy but you know I didn't want to go for a traditional Kaido because I think this young one as I said before was full of hopes that they were broken because he wasn't the chosen one. Uh, like others were before, like Roger wasn't the chosen one and he loved at the end of the story. Kaido wasn't the chosen man, but he didn't loved. He went sour and he was waiting and he wanted to fight and see who was gonna be there next, etc., etc. So, uh, very, uh, very interesting thing. So, I think he has this tattoo, orange tattoo. The tattoo, I think, has a little bit of blue as well, so... As I said, I don't know if this is in... I don't remember exactly if this is already in... Uh, if this is already in... Uh, in anime, but I'm gonna do it a little bit, as I think, like this. I'm gonna do the jacket, like, blue. Uh, Kaido represents a lot as well the purple color like Nico Robin but I'm not doing the cape at the back so I will go for blue and then I will give another pass you see painting a little bit like this to make like a shader to create a little bit of volume like this with the horns Oda needs to explain a little bit more about, about the Onis and everything, with the horns, what is going on with the horns. This is one of the races that we didn't see in the in the Shabondi archipelago and everything, and, and we see this is very nice. The Onis are so strong. So far, I think in the Tobiropo, Black Maria is a Oni as well, Kaido is a Oni. Uh, the other characters, most of the characters have fake horns, I would say. I don't think all of them are Oni. Oh, yeah, some of them are Oni, others are not. The Shackles in grey. As if you remember, he's in Shackles because he's been captured by the by the government many times. But it is not because he's he's weak or he's bad. It's because he's hungry, and that was a very funny thing when the, when other revealed that he's no, they didn't capture him because he blah blah blah. blah. They captured him because he was actually hungry and, and he had no money to eat. And then here is when he meets uh, this kid with white hair and brown skin and a flame on the back, that is called Albert that later will become his number one king and he is a strong believer like he believes that he is joy boy and for 
for the involvement of, 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 of King in this story and the Joy Boy concept and the design, the similar design in the clothing and everything that Oda chose for this, I would say that, that yes, I would think that this cover story may be focused in Kaido uh, getting out of uh, getting out of Onigashima, uh, being alive, breathing underwater, and on top of that, uh, showing up later to stop someone and clean clean and clear the pass the the path for for joy boy luffy uh, saying kind of what i said before uh, what, 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 joy boy keep going straight keep going straight do what i couldn't do uh, you are bigger than roger or you are bigger than rocks something like this i don't know and yeah and as i said he needs to stop someone he needs to stop someone that it is not going to be a problem for luffy uh, but like Katakuri, as well, very similar design to Katakuri. There's been a lot of speculation if Katakuri actually is his kid. Nothing confirmed, nothing there, so we discard the idea, but very interesting as well with the clothing and everything. So, yeah, as I said, feel free to say in the comment what you think. This uh, episode, uh, this, uh, this recording today, this video, this video theory is not about 1,109 as, 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 as a chapter, because there's a few points that I mentioned at the beginning, only a few points, but this is more about, uh, about the cover. I, I enjoy the cover a lot. I saw it and I was like, oh my God, as soon as I saw it, my head started thinking about ideas, thinking about theories, and uh, yeah, uh, Momo put it, put Onigashima in the place that it is, yeah. I don't think Momo is an executioner, so probably he saved anyone that he could find, so uh, he may have uh, in custody uh, the Tobiropo. Uh, I think Drake already escaped, or it's, it's going to be shown how Drake is getting out of there, and he's going to end up with Law. 100% I think because those two characters are connected uh, but as I said and I ping it already in the comments uh, feel free to have a look to my other theories and, and you can see and you can see what we have further there and I don't think I have much more to do in, in this drawing I think we are done have a little bit of beard here funny beard these eyes and everything yeah this card cartoony Cartoony Kaido, Young Kaido, Hope, full of hope, Kaido, and full of dreams. This is the potential Joy Boy that it never was. The potential Joy Boy that it never was. I just remember his face when when the CP0 shows up. Oh my god, I have a figurine here at home of, of the CP0, the Guernica guy. That was... That was so soul destroying when I saw Kaido's face. Like, oh my god, this happened again. Like, when, when, when this whole thing with Odin that I, I couldn't finish my fight, and then Luffy kind of revives. It is very, very nice. And uh, the, 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 the feeling that you see in Kaido, the character feeling that he has there. Let's just erase a little bit there. So yeah, as I said, I think we are done for today in this video. This is David Biadel 23, David Biadel 23, you can say it as you want, and this is the Mandragos Cave. Feel free to share this with your nakamas, with your friends, with your family, and with whoever it is that you talk about One Piece, and if you don't talk about, about One Piece with anyone, just drop me a message in the YouTube, on the Instagram, and we talk about One Piece there in the comments, and it's gonna be very nice. Uh, young Kaido, full of hope, smiling like Joy Boy, eyes, like in this last episode, eyes Joy Boy, and uh, yeah, freedom, with the, with the, when he releases uh, from, the, from the shackles of, of the slavery from the world government, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.